I am born to you all. Chapter number one: Chemical basis of life. Science grade ten, as per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus. Welcoming you all to another session of chemical basis of life. We came to know about the percentages of the compounds that is there in human body. Sixty-five percentages of oxygen being the most. And now there is a question coming to you: What decides compounds is an organic and it is not an organic? Organic and inorganic. That's the right way. We are going to understand that one today in this lesson. Well, wonderful, and we will try to understand the organic versus inorganic compounds now, and what are those? So the compounds are dis divided into two. That is organic and inorganic. That is comes as this in your book. It says contain carbon and does not contain carbon. The compounds that contain carbon known as organic compounds, while compounds that does not contain carbon is known as inorganic compounds under the organic compounds the glucose carbohydrate sucrose maltose lactose fructose lipids those are coming while under the inorganic compounds we found carbon dioxide carbon monoxide carbonates and bicarbonates that was a blast and says it's a Wait a minute, why? Now, if you see this carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide has carbon, carbon monoxide got carbon, carbonates got carbon, and bicarbonates also got carbon. And how come they say that that does not contain carbon is inorganic compounds? This is what your book says. Is your book definition right? Chemical compounds that build up living matter can be divided into two categories as organic compounds and inorganic compounds. Compounds which contain carbon are known as organic compounds and compounds which do not contain carbon are known as inorganic compounds. Voila! So the book says the same thing. So carbon dioxide Carbon monoxide, carbonates and bicarbonates are some of the organic, inorganic compounds which contain carbon. Now, we managed to put up a very easy way to identify that one from the books. That says, what about this definition from the right books? Look at this. Why carbon dioxide is not an organic compound? Voila! Do you want to know what is that? Okay, this is what it's all about. Organic compounds are hydrocarbons. They aren't compounds which contain carbon. In organic compounds, there will be hydrogen and carbon covalent bond. So that is very interesting. So they are, your book is not talking about hydrocarbons. Your book is only talking about the carbons. So the carbon dioxide isn't considered as organic because it isn't a hydrocarbon. So carbon dioxide hasn't got a hydrogen and carbon covalent bond. For that reason, it is not coming under the organic. It is known as inorganic. So we are rewriting. So the carbon dioxide has carbon, then why not organic is answered. So for that reason, we're telling that compounds that contain hydrocarbons and compounds that do not contain hydrocarbons uh, now comes as organic compounds and inorganic compounds on that lineup. Carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, nucleic acids, these got hydrocarbons, while inorganic compound carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and carbonates and bicarbonates, it doesn't got any sort of hydrocarbons. Oh, carbon and hydrogen covalent bond, therefore, it is not hydrocarbons. That is right. So along with that, we are going to learn about the biomolecules also. That's a human body, isn't it? Okay. 
organic compounds and biomolecules organic compounds that build up the living body or living matter are known as biomolecules we are not talking about the organic compounds as organic compounds when it is coming inside the human body for that reason we are talking as scientific jargon as biomolecules biomolecules okay so the total organic compounds when you are taking a box like this the portion of organic compounds which is biomolecules it's like the entire biomolecules also will come inside the organic compounds that is the reason so what are those biomolecules that has the human body got carbohydrates proteins lipids and nucleic acid these are known as or considered as the main types of biomolecules so now we know about the biomolecules as well so the important note in that is all the biomolecules are organic compound but not all the organic compounds are biomolecules that you have to understand everything we are talking about biomolecules is going to be organic compounds but not all the organic compounds are biomolecules that you have to understand what is that what are vitamins organic or inorganic Vitamins are also one of the organic compounds found in living matter like carbohydrates it is also known as the organic compounds found in living matter now what we learned today is very interestingly the compounds contain hydrocarbons and do not contain hydrocarbons respectively become organic compounds and inorganic compounds and carbohydrates proteins lipids nucleic acids and finally the vitamins also coming under the organic compounds while carbon dioxide carbon monoxide carbonates and bicarbonates even the water and minerals and gases those are coming as inorganic compounds now there's a question coming to you very interestingly to test yourself whether you are capable why the organic and inorganic present in body assist human when there are organic and inorganic things present in the body organic compounds are essential for the survival of organism while inorganic molecules that are essential for maintenance of life when we are talking about inorganic molecules that is definitely water like this that is important water is important for the maintenance of life but when we are talking about carbohydrate that is required for the survival of organism you can't survive without carbohydrates and you need water for the maintenance of life so these are very important now what is the difference between organic molecules and biomolecules that is in front of you not all the organic compounds are biomolecules but all the biomolecules are organic compounds it's like all the organic compounds they got biomolecules and non biomolecules so all the biomolecules are coming inside the organic compounds therefore it says not all the organic compounds are biomolecules but all the biomolecules are organic compounds which one is not an organic compounds out of this let's understand how many of you are answering this question right carbohydrates water lipids and nucleic acid out of this which one is not an organic compound out of this how many of you all have managed to answer that's water yes water is not an organic compound out of this that's all for the day and take care of your education and yourself bye bye